Hey guys, this is Junior Trader, and in this video, we will be taking a look today at Coinbase, Mara, and Riot. So these are in the, um, well, crypto space. And what we'll be doing is taking a look at a lot of data and identifying what from the price action we can expect from these stocks at what key levels and what we should be looking for either in buying into pullbacks or shorting them or buying for the long side. You will have all the tools and knowledge to make your own decisions by the end of the video. So stick around and let's begin. So very first thing I want to cover and I'll be going over Coinbase first. So um, so there, you know, we all know what was going on. You know, SEC was filing suits against all these Coinbase exchanges that they are not the securities and whatnot. But so it seems like um, the lawsuit has been going in the favor of cryptos. And so Coinbase stock soars after Ripple gets partial win in SEC lawsuit. So it's still a partial win, you know, um, I mean, the, these lawsuits go a little bit longer. Um, but however, things have started in a really good direction for um, the you know these exchanges like Coinbase, and there is it just puts a lot of roadblocks in front of SEC when someone else has a good start off to their case like Ripple to then you know build their case against them. So um, this is good to see for you know these exchanges. And now let's jump into um, the price action on these you know three particular equities. So. Starting off with Coinbase. Now, let's actually take a look at the short data first on Coinbase. So it has been at the moment around 36% um, percent open short float interest. Uh, and this is the app Coin, Coifin. If you, it's a free account you can use for the short interest data if you, uh, you know, want to take a look at it. So um, yeah, so it's, it's quite huge like it's anything over 20 percent is a very high short interest and now let's talk about what are we looking for with the price action why this short high short float can trigger a short squeeze and that's the premises of my this for coinbase uh, to begin with now what are we looking at some important key levels definitely this level of 86 dollars is an acting good support now now, we will be talking about, you know, uh, what if this level would come and um, we will jump into, you know, granular intervals for that. But let's draw some levels on the daily interval. We do have resistance at $115 as well, because, you know, this is where we had the prior pivot resistance and this is where a little bit it's reacting as well again. Um, the other thing I want to mention is that since Coinbase has formed this long, you know, consolidation at the bottom and we are getting good news is together with high short float interest. And if you have followed my some of the short float videos, you would know all these criteria that I cover, uh, you know, what something can trigger a short squeeze. That's what happened with Carvana as well. This very much looks like may happen with Coinbase as well because it is getting out of consolidation. It is above 20, 50, and 200 days moving average um, right over here. And the price is heading to the upside. So, and the short percent is so high that we might potentially get a squeeze. So definitely guys, it's a long play. $85 is a pullback, uh, you know, a buy place potentially. If it pull, does pull back to that level, I don't know if it will because we always have to see price action. So this is what, you know, I would be uh, trading it as. So what I was be looking for, because we have this huge green candle, as it's a very strong momentum candle, and then the sell-off is not a reversal, guys. It's just a pullback a little bit. So any pullback to $86 can be averaged, cost average down, or can be bought into it. And what I'm potentially expecting is to Coinbase to break out of $115 on a strong breakout. RSI is overbought, we can see that on the daily level, but again, with such a strong momentum that is running right now, there is nothing to worry about that overbought RSI. Um, so yeah, this range of $100 to $85, like at least this is what I will be doing is chipping in slowly and slowly some money and seeing, you know, um, the the playing to the upside average cost you know down so 
and then definitely break out of 117 dollars can bring coinbase stock or equity i should say up to 150 dollars that's where the next you know um level of resistance is so definitely and after that the major another resistance level is guys at 200 dollars but we'll you know cover that once we you know um get above 150 dollars but uh, let me still draw that up for you 230 and almost somewhere you know just give or take um all right so that was with um you know guys coinbase definitely um i'm looking at the upside on it i do wanna actually um let me just adjust this here guys sorry I do want to jump into the hourly interval on Coinbase as well, just to identify any, you know, uh, particular areas before even $86. All right. And that area would be guys $93. So $93 is another pullback support area that where the 50 days moving averages and um, this, this, you know, another pivot point is, but definitely just looking at how it is sold off. I do expect maybe a little bit downside before it tries to come back up again, but strong volume if it keeps continuing there are good places still to buy coinbase um again but cool off is expected guys okay so this was with coinbase let's now cover riot so let me load it up and let's jump to the daily level guys and also let me uh, bring up its um you know short float Just gonna quickly load it guys and you can see how you know what i'm you know typing in here so that if you want to see you can also you know um take a look at it so riot is guys at 28 percent short float short interest i should say so this is still high over 20 high so um let's take a look at the levels on what we are looking at with riot definitely it's running into consolidation getting out of it it's above 20 50 and 200 days moving average your level of support is at $13.70. Let me mark that for you guys. Um, or yeah, give or take a few cents. Um, $14.16 is what I would want to pick here. Pullback to this area can be bought, at least on the daily level. Um, RSI is overbought, but that's fine. We may see uh, some cool off, but you know, $16, $15 is still a place to buy. I, in my opinion guys none of this is any financial advice this is just my opinion and yeah this is where you know our 200 hours moving average is as well so definitely if it breaks 50 hours moving average you can expect it to test at least 200 hours moving average on hourly interval and that could be another place to buy it and yeah so this is what it is right um yeah so 16 and yes well 16 dollars is you know kind of like an average price point that you know you can target but definitely it's a long play you can wait for the pullback and you know um again there is no guarantee but just looking at the news the market sentiment the short float interest uh, these are more of a long play into the pullbacks guys uh this is with riot now we'll take a look at mara And let's go to the daily level, guys, and also let's load its uh, short interest. And let me bring it up real quick. Short interest amount of your sh share shorted. Wow, this is huge, guys. It's 42 short float. The short interest is 42%. That's humongous, huge. Let's, yeah, guys, um, this thing, is a good play um, we do have this current running resistance $19 um, but I think this will be breached I have a feeling um, but just a feeling guys no guarantee okay uh, just a feeling um, yeah so pullback I would say to 20 days moving average in case of Mara can be bought uh, but definitely if it breaks $20 guys that's a breakout play um the next level you can be looking at all the way could be 31 dollars as 30 dollars let's say that for the next potential um resistance or the next level that you can chase up to but 
looking strong. Mara, I don't think I need to go in much detail on it. This just looking at it, it seems like a good, great candidate for a short squeeze that may continue to happen. Pullback to $14 could be bought. These are good play to average cost down in your positions. Again, nothing is guaranteed, guys. Have a stop loss. The stop loss could be at 20, below 20 days moving average or around 50 days moving average. But these are average cost down plays, like these are pullback plays. And but all three of these like are awesome. I really want to thank one of my uh, subscribers and member actually who asked me to look into it. And yeah, the, yeah, I really, you know, appreciate you guys bringing your, you know, opinions as well to the table and, you know, asking me to look into it as well. That's, you know, really appreciated because, you know, that's how community works. And so this was with these three stocks, guys, or equities, I should say. I hope you found this video helpful and valuable. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe. With that, I'll see you in my next video. Take care.